program and the university? You did a little bit at the beginning of the time, but uh, why would a, why why should somebody uh, take a look at Lock Haven and and um, put that on a preferred school list that, as they're making their decision? I think that it gives um, young men and women uh, to come in and and uh, have an opportunity to to be in a classroom setting in a college setting with our professors that all you know predominantly, you know, I'd say three quarters of them have PhD. So, um, and come in and have an opportunity to, to be able to speak with them. I mean, first and foremost, like we're here to get an education. Yeah. And I think that the biggest thing is, is that you can do that in, in a smaller setting where you're not, um, there's not, you know, Penn State right up the road, like there might be 4,000 students in a lecture hall, you know, we're here, it's, you know, average class size is, you know, 32, 30, 32 students. Um, gives you that opportunity to get that one-on-one -on -one time and, and the professors have office hours where you can actually speak with someone. Um, and, I, and I think if, if um, that's the, you know, the school setting that you would want, I think Lock Haven would be a great opportunity for you. Um, plus it's, uh, you know, the campus itself, it's, it's not crazy big, but it's, it's, you, know, you can walk to most of your classes. Um, we're, we're set in the Susquehanna River Valley. Um, it's, uh, the Chesapeake Basin, the, uh, it empties down in around Baltimore, but uh, it's a beautiful setting with the mountainous views, uh, a lot of outdoor activities that, that we have here, kayaking, mountain biking, um, a lot of those outdoor activities. Uh, the town itself is approximately 10,000 people. Um, we have small shops down there, bars, restaurants, everything right here that, that's in walking distance with the school. So um, it gives you that opportunity. Um, the alumni are great. We've turned out alumni everywhere um and they come back on on our you know um alumni weekends and homecomings and things like that and uh it's a tight-knit family when you go to lock haven you're a bald eagle um but it's a it's a great opportunity to, for you to get an education uh, opportunity to have a lot of friends you know but not it's big enough where you don't know everybody right, right. um so we're our kind of our own little um community in itself that's you know? awesome um and uh we're right in between, like, uh, we're right in between Williamsport Little League World Series and Penn State, approximately, you know, uh, 35, 40 miles to our west is Penn State, State College, um, and 20 miles to our east is uh, Williamsport. Um, it's a pretty neat, neat setting. Um, of course, on late August, you know, you got the Little League World Series going on. You'll see the blimp go from Williamsport right by Lock Haven to State College <laughs> if they're playing somebody big, you know, like Nebraska That's awesome. or. They got a big game early in the season. It's uh, it's pretty cool to see. They're both on like ABC. It's it's nuts. But that's uh, great for for the little town and little community that we're in. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot going on. That sounds uh, sounds great. I, I actually lived in Pittsburgh for a number of years.